Hello everyone, it is about 6.40, sorry, 5.40, 5.40 a.m. on the sixth full day of quarantine and originally I was going to be sort of vlogging the whole process, but um, yeah, I realized that vlogging would actually impact how I'm studying, so I didn't want to do it because like the whole point of this is that I am studying in quarantine. I will however give you a status update and if anybody is interested in certain things how the quarantine works um, I will definitely record that it'll take less time and it won't directly impact my studying because honestly for me to film my studying like I don't have enough space to film my studying properly and so for me to film my studying I'll have less space to write and so it'll be cramped and yeah um also when basically my room started having internet issues so now i have to plug my computer directly into the wall for internet <laughs> um so that will be that kind of limits the how do i say it the range of where i can move my computer um, but i definitely like i said if you have any questions like how laundry works how food is delivered, um, how laundry works, food is delivered, tr trash, and anything else that you might wonder about quarantine, feel free to ask me. I will make a short video on it, or I will just reply to your comment depending on whether I think it needs visuals or not. Um, so yeah, without further ado, a status update. So originally I was planning to study 10 hours per day, and I am happy to say that for the first five days that I have completed that. Um, I did want to expand a little bit on this wasted section. That does not mean that I didn't, that does not mean that's not just any time that I didn't study. That is like literally, I feel like I wasted an hour doing something. Um, so like even if I'm watching dramas or I'm watching an American show, if I still enjoyed that and I I don't feel like it's wasted. Then in the surplus section, I'm gonna have to change that. Yesterday I was, yeah, yesterday I was tinkering around with um, a new method, just pretending that the red is active hours and the black, yeah, black is passive hours, but I don't like how that looks. I really do like this switching pattern over here because it's just much easier to see and much cleaner. Um, so yeah, basically I've studied a total of two, two, five, 55 hours since getting here, but most of that is passive. So I've studied roughly one, should have counted this before the video. Um, let's see, five times four, 21 hours active, which isn't bad. Um, and then the schedule that I feel like I mentioned, uh, especially because of the when they do food, I, I've not stuck to this at all. Um, I am still reaching my goal and I am still getting a lot of different types of things in, which I'm happy about, um, but I haven't stuck to that schedule one bit. Um, so now I'm going to get into like the technical side of my progress and... Uh, so one of the things I brought with me was leftover Korea de Hangulgo books from when I was taking Korean language courses. And I've gotten about, I think, three-ish chapters into this. Yeah, about three chapters into this. Um, but it's very minimal studying. I'm not studying this hardcore because I don't learn vocabulary that way. Um, I did when I was in school, but I've literally forgotten at least 60% of the st vocabulary I studied in school, which is well over 600 words. <laughs> so this, I'm three chapters into. Let's put that back. And then where is it? Broken? Okay. And then I brought with me a Korean book to read. I have never finished a Korean book. I've tried reading two. One was about 100 pages and it was like little fairy tales that were broken broken up and I would probably understand that one a lot better now um, but I never finished that one and then the other one was the Korean version of False Prince which I already hate that book so I don't even know why I tried to read it um, 
I mean, it was more interesting in Korean to see what they would use for, like, how they would translate it. Because as I, I already have read that book, um, it was middle grade fiction, and it very much did read like middle grade fiction, and I can't tell the difference between middle grade fiction and Korean yet, so that'll be interesting. Anyway, I'm 70 pages into this one, and I'm not just reading this one, and I'm definitely not going through and marking it up. This is, this belongs to, I borrowed this book anyway, um, but, oh, I'm so sorry. What was it? Oh yeah, this one, anywhere in my journal where you say, where you see, so like reading out loud, it's most likely going to be this. I'm 70 out of how many pages? I really think that I probably should have done this beforehand, but I sort of didn't actually plan on giving this kind of a status update until that's Chakai and Mai, so that's the author's notes. Okay, there's 130 pages, and I'm 70 pages in. I plan to be done with this by, by the end of quarantine but probably three-ish days. Um, and then uh, I've been watching a lawyer drama without subtitles on SBS because SBS will let you watch a lot of their dramas for free. Um, partly because it's already a free broadcasting station. I think some of them do cost, but I've never actually run into an SBS drama that costs on SBS. So I've been watching Chune Hanen Pansa Nimke, which is um, about twins. One of them, uh, because, because of something the upright twin did, has been in and out of jail. And then the other one is a judge, so. And they're both played by Yun Shiyun, who is one of my favorite actors, because he's just, he's so amazing. Um, but yeah, so I've been watching that for several days now. I think the first day I got no, the first full day I started watching that and I'm nine episodes in without subtitles and literally I was texting my sister last night while I was watching and I still got pretty much everything. So my listening comprehension to dramas, um, even ones with more technical language like lawyer, dra law lawyer dramas has gotten better. Um, I do feel, though, if I started something even a little bit harder than this, or if I tried to switch to a movies, I'd only understand about 70% rather than 85 to 90%. So there is that. Um, there was something else. I have been going through Talk to Me in Korean, even though I'm not a big fan of Talk to Me in Korean, um, but I've realized recently that it's good for, like, just getting a lot of the concepts and even if I have to relook it up for a different explanation that'll help me better, then I do that. Um, now I'm gonna go into, now I'm not even going to talk about individual days, um, but I did mark individual days. There is one more thing, I think. Okay, I have been, oh, you know what, there's actually two more things. So I've been reading articles that I printed out specifically for this trip. This one is about language learning and there's a lot of technical words and the reason I circled those parts of the words is it's because I know that it is related to another word through hanja so it's like I know that hanja so for example hulyeon the yeon part is related to training um, and stuff like that this one down here oh there it is this one, I literally knew both characters, so I'm like, yeah, I can do this. It's imnyeop. No, chuyeop. Oh my gosh. Um, and then I printed a lot of Korean wangoji to practice my writing, which honestly, I don't know where the top of the stack is because these aren't exactly the most organized right now. I'll probably have to do that afterwards. And here we have some of my writing. Why does that one so empty? Okay, so this was like my first day of like practicing writing. This is my attempt at a topic. Um, a lot of mistakes. I'm not sure if they allow you to bring a corrector with you, but if so, I might need to do that. I did learn yesterday how you're supposed to format the topic. So 
that is good. There was more. Oh, yeah. Um, recently, I don't know a lot of vocab, or at least I don't know as much as I should, or I want to, more of. Um, so recently I have been studying Korean Hanja because honestly, when I learn a Hanja, even if I don't remember how, yeah, this isn't the most organized, but I really just need to get the practice into the Hanja. When I learn the Hanja, it doesn't matter whether I remember how the character is written or not, or what it looks like. If I learn that character, its meaning and its pronunciation, then I will notice it more in Korean words. Like I said earlier, uh, chulyo, um, and I, that probably isn't the best example since I said imnyok, um, but I'll notice it better um, and I'll be able to guess the meaning a lot easier. <laughs> so yeah, I think, I think that's about it that I've been doing. I mean, I've been watching the news as well and I have been listening to the news. Um, but as for things that I can submit progress on, that is about it. Um, so if you have any questions about studying or about the quarantine or just in general, ask me in the comments. I'll try to answer either through comments if it's small enough or video videos. Um, I have taken pictures of all of my food and have somewhat filmed unwrapping. So if you want, if you're interested in what eating food here is like, then I will definitely um, make a short video on that. Thank you for watching. Bye.